The Elephant Tank Destroyer was produced in 1943 and received substantial upgrades in 1944. 91 units were produced having originally been named Ferdinand after Ferdinand Porsche. Porsche and Henschel had both competed to design the Tiger Tank. The Henschel design was chosen, but Porsche had already produced 100 hulls. It was then decided that these hulls would be used to develop a heavy tank destroyer. One that could be used in an offensive role. It was armed with the 88mm Pack 43 which had a range of over 3 km. It also had 200mm of armor at maximum. It first saw combat at the Battle of Kursk. 89 units were committed to the battle. It claimed to have knocked out 320 tanks for a loss of only 13. Its biggest issues at Kursk were mechanical breakdowns and damage caused by mines. The Germans didn't have sufficient armored recovery vehicles for the Elephant. The Bergpanzer IV was the standard recovery vehicle at the time. It took five of them to tow the Elephant off the field. Other issues were the lack of peripheral vision blocks and machine guns. The lack of machine guns made it vulnerable to infantry assaults. In 1944 they were recalled and modified. 48 units received a ball-mounted MG-34, the new commander's cupola, modified engine armored grates and zimmerit paste. Later in 1944 it was renamed the Elephant and three units were converted to recovery vehicles. The last Elephants would see combat at Zossen during the Battle of Berlin. When it wasn't broken down the Elephant was very successful. It saw a claimed ratio of 10 kills to 1 loss. In all the Elephant had its issues, but it undoubtedly was a force to be reckoned with when it was operational. 